Rattlers. Runners are coupled for betting purposes, which is your white sash, but they race away. Dancienne was slow to go, and they burst out of the stalls, and uh, Dancienne taken back through the field. We expect Broadway Flyer to go up and make the running, and he's doing just that, setting a good pace. Two out wide, Sierra Madre, King Cedar holds a position, there's Zood. Milcom in a good position, the last quarter mile is vital for him. Intrepidity just ahead of Carnegie, then comes Bright Moon, shuffling down the pack. We have only Royal Hernando on the outside, is uh, Celtic Arms, and then wide of these is Big Tobin and at uh, this stage White Muzzle has only got three behind him and they are Vertamond uh, much better in the slow starting dance here but it's Broadway Flyer leading in the white jacket. On the outside, the grey horse is Sierra Madre. Between the pair, Intrepidity in the yellow, would you believe it, sash. And then running the rail is uh, King's Theatre. Behind that one comes Ezud. On the outside is uh, uh, the white sash of Richard of York and this massive maroon uh, pressed by Milcom. And then behind these uh, comes Bright Moon Settled Mid Division. Apple Tree is uh, in Mid Division 2. White Muzzle last but one, giving his horse a lot to do as they continue uh, through the first half mile and begin a right handed turn. And it's Broadway Flyer in the lead from Intrepidity on the outside, uh, sharing second place there with King's Theatre. Then on the outside, Sierra Madrid and Celtic Arms and just in behind these we have uh, Landa who's running wide and they go past the halfway stage and Broadway Flyer has kicked clear by about six to eight lengths uh, we're looking at the chasing group now there's Broadway Flyer and uh, running the rail is uh, King's Theatre, then Intrepidity, and on the outside, a race is Celtic Arms, Ezud, and then just behind these comes Milcom, Lando on the outside, but Broadway Flyer is clear by six as they come down, and with just one more turn to take in the 40, a Puy de Larc, the Triomphe, and it's Broadway Flyer, clear from King's Theatre, Intrepidity, and Richard of York, and then just in behind these comes Sierra Madre, travelling well, White Muzzle starting to pick up, but is going to spin wide as they start to turn in, and it's Broadway Flyer still clear by four, Intrepidity the outside of King's Theatre, then comes Ezud on the outside, Milcom, the unbeaten horse with a run, trying to come with a run, Richard of York, Apple Tree starts to pick up, and they're coming to take Broadway Flyer, who can't hold on, it's King's Theatre, and King's Theatre and Richard of York, and on the outside, Bright Moon with a dash, here comes Hernando bursting through the pack in dark blue, and Carnegie's in the front rank too, come down towards the winning line, and Hernando flashing through the inside of Carnegie, Carnegie and Hernando, as they race up towards the line, Carnegie, Hernando the one, Two, then Apple Tree and behind that one is uh, Then came home Bright Moon, just in front of Only Royale. Then came White Muzzle and Lando and Milcom, followed through by King's Theatre and then Sierra Madre. Vertamond was last but one and last of all was Don Cien. And so the result of this, the Forte Puy de Larc de Triomphe, an international race which has been won by number 14, Carnegie, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, this one trained by Andre Fabre, a fifth ride in the race for Thierry Jeanne, who's won it. And in this international race, the only way of distinguishing them is that stupid little blue band. Second horse home, I think, is Hernando. Here goes Carnegie with a rush on the outside. Uh, then uh, through on the inside is uh, Hernando, the blue, well, the, the blue with the light blue cross belt. And as they race up toward the line, it's going to be Carnegie who's the winner. Hernando is second. Through on the inside, the white jacket apple tree. Also in the firing line is who the blue, darker blue. Nearest to us, the paler blue is bright, bright moon. And uh, those are the leading five, the first five home in the 40 Puy de Larc de Triomphe. What a weekend for Sheikh Mohammed. He's won practically everything, Jim. The Cambridgeshire. I think he'd have swapped all of those for this, John. Yes, he certainly would. His first success in the Puy de Larc de Triomphe. Uh, his great rival from the Middle East, uh, Khalid Abdullah, has of course won the race twice, but this is the first for Sheikh Mohammed, and one of his four, one of the four runners. He ran today, and the winner of one of those disputed trials, winner of the pre-foy, Carnegie, he's won his last three races, uh, and um, won four this season, so you can't say he wasn't exposed. You can't say either that he isn't bred to win, or wasn't bred to win an art, because his dam, Detroit, took the race under Pat Edery in 1980. He was bred by Robert Sanks of Swettenham Stud, and he's a son of uh, great sire Sadler's Wells, and he's got a great look of that horse too, with the white snip that characterises so many of his progeny. 
The Brits have had it their own way so far. It's time for the French to celebrate. Let's go through the whole race again. And the first thing we noticed was that Yutaka Take, instead of following the old maxim that you never want to be out of the first half dozen in an Arc de Triomphe, he immediately drops white muzzle out in the last half dozen. In fact, at this stage, Jim, he's only got three behind him. Yes, I mean, you, you make the, the likes of Dancien, for example, who couldn't go, but uh, Yutaka Take just involved in a bit of bumping there with the uh, Brazilian challenger much better. His tactics, well, they couldn't have been much worse if he tried. He really has got it spectacularly wrong. At the moment, Broadway Flyers ahead, but uh, poised behind the Farb horses. And Andre Farb is watching this replay with Bruff Scott. Andre, congratulations. You from Field. You see so many of your runners. Did you think he was the best? He's a beautifully bred horse. Well, he was the more promising, you know. Mm. So far, he wasn't the best because he already runs once on Group Two. Mm. But I mean, he's got the breeding and the uh, progressive style, you know. So I was very confident with him. And the other horse, Apple Tree, had done. Well, done he so ran well. good race. I mean, he's a very consistent horse, and he showed that he's always there on you know, big occasions. And Andre, a big race like this with so many horses, how tense do you get? How important is it to you? Yeah, train? too many horses to be tense. <laughs> <laughs> and how happy do you get when you win the big one? Well, That's you, what the you know, it's about. sort of relief, you know, when you. It's the achievement of uh, long term work for everybody, so, you know, it's difficult to be really, truly happy. You know? <laughs> it comes later. And just to see there's this, this crucial moment here as they, as they work through, you, 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 when you were looking there, well, I was a bit worried to see Broadway fly so far ahead, you know. You must go and greet your winner. Thank you yeah, very much. Okay, you're welcome. So Andre goes to greet his winner. Let's uh, review the closing stages. Broadway fly stretched them, and for one moment I thought that John Hills uh, and his brother Michael were going to gain compensation of that Doncaster defeat, but uh, they haven't really tested stamina today, and Broadway Flyer, well, he's not going to beat these for speed. They've quickened from about a mile out, but he's about to be grabbed. Firstly, on the outside by uh, Pat Edry on intrepidity for a stride or two, but then Carnegie, with about 300 metres to run, takes over, pressed by Michael Kinnan uh, on King's Theatre. Over on the inside, Apple Tree, Izud in the blinkers is there. Bright, bright moon running on well. On the wide outside, here comes uh, White Muzzle. You can just yeah, see the slip of his nose. Hernando runs a great race to get in there too, but it's Thierry Jarnet's day. Carnegie, coupled with the three others of Sheikh Mohammed's, the last show we got, three to one, favourite returned, and it's officially the 26th time in 73 runnings the favourite has won the arc. And now